Hello guys. Today we will talk about the DDoS attack. A DDoS attack can have a significant impact on a business, as it can cause a website or service to be unavailable for a period of time. In some cases, it can even lead to financial losses. Fortunately, there are a number of measures that can be taken to prevent a DDoS attack. In this video, we will take a look at what a DDoS attack is, how to launch a DDoS attack, and how you can prevent it. Now let's start with, what is a DDoS attack? A DDoS attack is when multiple compromised systems are used to attack a single target. A DDoS attack can be used to take down a website or server, making it inaccessible to users. In most cases, a DDoS attack is carried out by a botnet, which is a group of computers that have been infected with malware and are controlled by a hacker. The hacker then sends commands to the botnet, which carries out the attack. A DDoS attack is a type of attack in which multiple computers send requests to a target system or server with the intention of overwhelming it with traffic and causing it to crash or become unresponsive. That is a DDoS attack means this is nothing else complicated. This type of attack has become more common in recent years as hackers have become more sophisticated. In a DDoS attack, a botnet is usually employed. This type of attack is so dangerous, but it is not simple like using a low-orbit ion cannon or some bullshit tool using. I will show you how it is done with a low-orbit ion cannon Windows app, but that is just to show you how it is done not to hack. However, now let's talk about What are the consequences of a DDoS attack? A DDoS attack can have a significant impact on any organization that is targeted. Not only can it take a website or service offline for an extended period of time, but it can also lead to financial losses. For example, businesses may lose money if customers are unable to use their services or if their websites are down for long periods of time. In addition, DDoS attacks can cause reputational damage to companies, as customers may be hesitant to use the services of a company that has been targeted by a DDoS attack. Finally, the cost of dealing with a DDoS attack can be considerable, as organizations may need to pay for specialized services to mitigate the attack. Now DDoS attacks hit a number of people or companies. So eBay, CNN, Amazon, PayPal, etc. was hit by a DDoS attack. Sony and PSM were down and Xbox Live was down by DDoS attacks. A bunch of company affected by this type of attack. Now there are a lot of different ways a DDoS attack can be launched. There are various programs that are fairly easy to use, tools such as Slow Loris, which is a slower DDoS attack designed to slowly consume bandwidth on a server. Golden Eyes. Then we have Low Orbit Ion Cannon, which we'll use as an example later. There are also paid DDoS attacks. Therefore, these are usually hacking groups that rent services. You tell them I want to hit that target during that time period or date range, and you pay and they DDoS it. This is sounds great. So, let's look at an example of a low orbit ion cannon. Now before I start this demo, I want to tell you that DDoS attacks are very illegal. You do not want to launch this on any network that you don't own. Guys, I stop here I can't show you this stuff on YouTube they don't let me do like this stuff so I stopped here. However, it is easy just to show you how is done DDoS attacks. And, a low orbit ion cannon is a DDoS attack tool that does not hide IP addresses, making it easy for attackers to track it down. Furthermore, because system logs are easy to identify these tool attacks, any attacker using this tool can be quickly and easily identified and stopped. So be careful. Find the tool that works well for you or make yourself. Who the fuck stops you? I can't make, I can't code, blah blah blah. Okay so, start learning, that is. Now okay let's go to. How can you prevent DDoS attacks? Fortunately, there are a number of measures that can be taken to protect against DDoS attacks. The first and most important measure is to ensure that all security measures are kept up to date, as this will reduce the chances of a DDoS attack succeeding. In addition, companies should also implement proactive measures such as antivirus and anti-malware software, and firewall configurations to protect against DDoS attacks. It is also important to use the latest security protocols and practice strong password management measures. 
Furthermore, organizations should invest in dedicated DDoS protection services, which will help to detect and mitigate DDoS attacks. These services use sophisticated algorithms to detect malicious traffic and will prevent it from reaching the target system or server. Fortunately, with the right knowledge and tools, organizations can protect themselves against DDoS attacks, but you don't protect fully DDoS attack. However, organizations should be aware of the implications of a DDoS attack and take the necessary measures to protect themselves. I know guys, so many people saying to me you are always post basic videos. You don't post advanced stuff. I will post advanced stuff. But YouTube does not want me to do it but I will try to balance I will post some basic and advanced stuff. And I am creating a website to teach you how to hack that YouTube doesn't want. If you want to learn subscribe to our channel but I don't beg you to subscribe to me because there is nothing I can get when you subscribe. Because YouTube doesn't pay me so it is your choice if you want to learn hacking just subscribe. If you don't, okay don't subscribe me. I only need one man who wants to learn not See you soon.